this is Kale and I'm back to do another video for you guys. Hey, so this time around, I will be doing a protective style video. Um, I want to put my hair up. It's almost springish here in Vegas, but I'm just tired of doing it. I want to just put my rag on and take it off and that be it. <laughs> right? So, this is, I'm doing a crochet style by the way, and I will be using Expressions 3C Whirly Loop. Um, yeah, I'll be putting that picture on the side so you guys can see that. Um, and she is already pre-looped. She is pre-looped. I will be showing you guys that when I get to the knit grid. I will be using the colors number 2 and the color 325. Now, I want to show you this color 325. Everybody know what 2 look like. But this color 325, y'all, is gorgeous. Really, really pretty. I don't usually do a lot of color. Oh, she look real bright on camera. She not that bright in real life. I know she look red, red. Ooh. To be honest with y'all, like, it doesn't look that bright in real life. It's probably the color of my lipstick in real life. Not that. That look fiery red. Okay, I don't know how much of this I'm gonna use. <laughs> if it looked that, y'all know I'm not scared of color, but I ain't really on the color like that. But as you can see, she's already pre looped. I need a feel. Well, not a feel, these are my nails. I get gel nail. I get the gel polish, but these are my nails. But there, that's it. You can see the loops. It's a little rubber band on there. I will show you guys how to take it off. I have plenty of crochet videos and I have plenty of crochet videos using this type of hair. I just never done a video on this hair. Have I used it before? Yes. And so I will be using it again because I thought it was super pretty last time, but I didn't make a video on it. So this is y'all introduction to expressions by Outre Curly Loop Hair. Now, of course you're going to need a crochet needle and of course you're going to need to braid your hair down. Now. Um, I ain't took this wig off yet because I just did this video, but I will be got showing you everything. I'm probably about to take my makeup off because I want to be comfortable while I'm doing this because this is probably going to take me about an hour, two hours maybe, um, depending on how much I'm going to be into the show I'm watching. <laughs> so, but that's just the introduction. And of course, let's get to it. I'll be back. Okay, you guys, put the needle through your braid. Put the hair in the hook, close it, pull it through, find the hole, and put the remaining hair through the hole and loop it like a rubber band three times. That's it. I usually do three times. You don't have to do three times. You can do two, whatever makes you feel secure. Um, here I am showing you again. Put the hair through the hook, close it, pull it through, put the remaining hair through the hole and loop it like a rubber band. Um, I try to make it so I feel secure three two or three always makes me feel secure You do not have to do more than that if you feel like it's not going to come out But for me two to three times feel secure and here I am again showing you putting it through the hair Then finding a hole looping it through and that's it Okay, you guys, here I am doing the invisible part. So what you want to do is stick the needle in your braid going toward the center of your part. I'm starting with the right side. So you will stick the needle going in toward the middle of the part. You put the hair in the, the hook, close it up, pull the hair through. Instead of grabbing both pieces, you will only grab one side of your loose hair. And then of course, you're going to do the rubber band loop-de-loop -loop method for your security. Um, this hair was really, really frizzy. It did not last as long as I wanted it to, but yeah, you will see that throughout the video that the hair keeps getting frizzy, but whatever. Anywho, here I am showing you again. Go ahead and put the needle going into the center of the part. You want to do that so the hair can lay over. 
the right way. This is the right side of the part. It should lay to the right. Once you do the other side, you will put it in going the other way so the hair can lay to the left. So when you part it, your hair lays right and everything is fine. But go ahead and put the hair through the hook. Close the hook. Pull the hair through. Open the loop, only put one strand through and loop it like a rubber band and that's it. This is a little harder to do just because you're so used to putting both strands through the loop and you only have to do one this time. But if you take your time, you can do it and it's super duper easy. But that's pretty much it. The rest of the video will be sped up and I'll talk to you guys at the end. That I don't want you here. Yeah. It's not about the way you said to my eyes. I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every time I try to resist you. You can get away. Palm trees, beach views, would have never day. All I wanna hear is in the pictures I replay. Right next to you. Yeah. I try not to show how I feel about you. You wish you were. You don't really want to.
I'm back with it done. Um, I just realized the last time I did a crochet video, it was the same exact color, but with a different um, curl pattern. The last time I did was 4C Coily. I was so in love with 4C Coily. Because that got bigger and better the t as time went on. It was so pretty. So this is it. I did shape it a little bit. I forgot to um, actually um, record that, but here she goes. Let me show y'all the back. So hopefully you can see that. Um, I used two full packs of black. This is all I have left of the other pack, which is one, two, three, four, five bundles. And then I used, this is all I have of the red, which pretty much I used four and a half packs for this. I did separate them all. I did not put any clusters. So I didn't put any clusters, which is this inside my whole head. I separated everything but I wanted it to look as full as possible and it does. It does. Um, it's a desired length. Everything is cool. I'm getting the shape I want. So I'm good and hopefully you guys get to see how I did my um, my knotless part. So that's my part. She looking pretty good there. That's my knotless part. Um, and I also show you in great detail of what um, how to put this crochet in. So this is it. This is it sis. <clears throat> and I'm done. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Um, if you have something to tell me, go ahead and put it down in the comment section. Go ahead and share my videos with all of your cro crochet loving friends. Okay. And of course, subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Um, and join my family. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.